on our way to Eindhoven, uh, which is this city that is two hours away and it's almost literally at Belgium. <laughs> but I'm going there to take my flight to Hungary because, because this thrifty queen found out that it is so much cheaper to take a flight from Eindhoven as compared to Amsterdam. The whole round trip is 30 euros and if I fly from Amsterdam, it's I think it's like 160. Oh my god, there's sheep. Did you see? Sorry, the window is so dirty, but there was sheep. I really want to go to Hungary. I really want to go. They delayed my fl flight because of fog. It was delayed to 6.50 and then they cancelled it. But okay, they are compensating for their mistakes with food. This is literally the way to my heart. Now, if this burger is cooked like shit, I'm never going to forgive them again. Because bad food is just the ultimate betrayal. It's worse than a breakup. Not that I know how a breakup feels, but I'm pretty sure it's worse. Day one of Budapest! No, I'm just kidding. Just collected up my breakfast. Which is quite nice because I didn't know they provided a breakfast. I'm hungry. Walking to the bus stop that will take me to the airport. And then I'll wait for five hours and pray that... Pray that the plane will feel like taking off today, please, with air. I'm not even judging you for your name right now. Just do your job. Barbara, what is the meat called again? It's beef, it's called percut. 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 Percut, and then she made mashed potatoes. But they put milk in their mashed potatoes, which is really interesting. I've never milk had and, that. Milk and butter. Milk and butter, wow, interesting. She's very, very taken care of. And also, this is like cream that Barbara says you have to eat with the por porkosh. Percut. Percut. I can be hungry and die. We are basically sisters. When she looks at me, she feels like she looks in the mirror. Yeah. For your reference, this is me. <laughs> so yeah, we basically we are basically the same person. Oh wait. Cheers. Cheers! In Chinese we call it gampe. Oh gampe. Gampe. Oh my god, you're really good. Gampe. Gampe. In Hungarian we say agishi <laughs> gadra. We're in Bocha Anitev, that's the parliament of Budapest. Um, is it in my hand? Wait, wait, wait. Parliament. No, your hand is a little more up. A little down, just a little. Oh, you didn't like if it was in your hand. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> quick. This is where the big dish decisions are made. Mm. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. If you look that way, mm -hmm. there is the chain bridge, the Galliard Castle. Mm -hmm. uh, no, not the castle, the Galliard Hill, sorry. And there is the Buddha Castle. On top of the hill? No, it's over there. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> God. It's, yes, it's that one. Is uh, this one? Uh, that that okay. one. Okay. Like gonna... This is the fisherman's bastion. Mm. Uh, they could just basically see the whole city. You can basically see the whole city from here. Mm, I see, well, I see. Cached side. The other side, I'm going to show it to you. And there's the Matthias church. Mm. King Matthias was the most popular uh, and the most successful king that we had mm. in the 15th century because we had a bunch of like Islamic and Turkish people mm. attacking Hungary mm. and like this area and he was a very successful leader who mm. saved our ass <laughs> but once he died he didn't have a son following mm. him so we had no king for a really long period of time mm. and obviously the uh I think it was the Turkish people, but yeah. They came and they attacked Hungary again, mm. and they won that time. Mm. And they stayed in Hungary for a couple hundred years. Mm, I see, I see. 
Yeah. We are bringing you guys for a workout today. Oh. Yeah. Get ready, ladies. And go left, ahead. keep left. Wait, the view is gonna be gorgeous in here. Oh my god, look at the chain bridge. No, there's not the chain bridge. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. There's the Liberty Bridge. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Liberty, gorgeous though. So pretty. Yeah. This is a university over there, that one. This one? It's Corvinus, yeah. Uh -huh. And over there, there's another university, it's Bama. We have a bunch of dates here. Oh, like, someone has been having fun. With so many guys, every guy always brings you here or the Gallert. Uh, over there uh -huh. if they ask you out on a date this is where you go because <laughs> it's so romantic you just sit down and actually bench though and so and pretty so yeah like so many dates like girl how many days have you been on <laughs> hundreds hundreds of days. <laughs> no. girl's been playing guys if you ever want to date her just know that you're facing tough competition <laughs> Very tough competition. Oh, very, very tough. Very, very, very tough. tough. This girl is popular, okay, y'all? They never tell you that it's gonna be a day. They're like, hey, you wanna hang out just the two of us? I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. Uh -huh. We go to a restaurant, we grab something, we eat, we split the bill, then we start walking. And once you realize that the guy wants to come up to like the castle district or the galette, you know that this is a day. <laughs> That's the time when you know that the guy's into you. Oh my the God. guy brings you there or to Margaret Island. Wow. Because generally Hungarians don't come up to the castle because it's too touristy and it's always filled with people. Mm. But if a guy burns you up, he wants to date you. Sure. There was this one guy. <laughs> <laughs> She's <laughs> so giggly. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. actually introduced any yet. She's also my friend. She's from Slovakia. She came here to have a reunion. Media scholar. We managed to meet up. You have a footage of that. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. We accidentally met her today earlier in Budapest. We just made it. Anyways. Subscribe, like, subscribe, like, follow her. Share everything. Yeah. Everywhere. Anyways guys, so we are in the theater. Um, as you can see, it is very, very beautiful. Extremely beautiful. Um, and today we are here to see Chekhov's The Seagull, which is a play I've never seen before. But Barbara ran through the entire plot with me. It is very complicated and people fall in love with a lot of other people, which is very confusing, but I'm very excited anyway. Um, it's my first time seeing this play and I'm gonna see it in Hungarian, so wish me luck. Yeah. The district that is uh, after this bridge yeah. is the 13th district. Yeah. It was, like, it was the, the ghetto uh -huh. where they took all the Jew people, mm -hmm. all the Jewish people, and then some of the Jewish people went to Auschwitz or other concentration camps. Yeah. And uh, some of them were taken back to the Danube and they shot them oh or my they God. pushed them to the Danube and you obviously died. Because it, it really fast, it goes quite fast.
the history. Budapest was united from three cities in 1873, namely Buda, Obuda, and Pest. Seven years later, the Diet resolved to establish a new representative parliament building expressing the sovereignty <laughs> of the nation, whatever that means. Thank you. During the People's Republic of Hungary, a red star perched on the top of the dome, but it was removed in 1990 after the fall of communism, which Cesar perfectly knows about from yesterday's museum. Exactly, from thanks of to our best tour guide. Yeah, Matyas Suros declared the Hungarian Republic from the balcony facing Kossuth Lajos Square on the 23rd of October in 1989. This square? Yeah, that one, that balcony. That balcony? Wow. Yeah. That is some cool it stuff. has so many important historical things that happened in here. We are in a cat cafe. This is not the cat. <laughs> this is the cat. <clears throat> Guys, rate the cats. This one or this one? I think this one. <laughs> yeah, so Barbara is going to say to me it's <laughs> only Hungarian starting from now. Only Hungarian? Yes. Okay. okay. So, so I'm a I am a total. <laughs> Hey friends, so now we are gonna go ice skating. Um, my dearest tour guide here is trying to buy tickets online for us, and that is Hero Square. I'm not sure if you can see. And that is um, the angel who informed Jesus' mother that <laughs> she was pregnant. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm, tell I'm trying to teach them a little history. I'm trying to get my friends to be a little bit cultured. I mean, of course, I'm not implying that you guys are uncultured. I am just revising. She is. I am not. Oh, she you're just is. a hater. Look at you searching Wikipedia to tell me what to say. Sorry, I'm buying tickets for us right now. Okay, thank you. Thank you, tour guide. Don't bother me. <laughs> We're ice skating now. I kind of suck, guys. I'm like trying so hard not to fall down. She's my I'm coach. To, I'm trying to hold her back. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Okay, we got this. Woo! vlogging oh it's so cool that's my favorite place I used to come here. I love it I love it the decor is so cool she's 
not wrong. I'm confused. She she was literally sitting and she got dizzy and she almost fell down from the chair. It wasn't that bad. I have my chimney cake here. It really was bad. I swear to God that it really, really was bad. She's lying. She was like, wait, she was trying to balance with his with her hands. <laughs> Good morning guys! We are morning. at Santendra. Yeah, we're in Santendra. Oh my god, I'm such a Hungarian genius. You are. Anyways, Can hanging go? out with a mysterious movie star today. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 what's her name? Me. I wonder what it is. Mm -hmm. Barbara Isabella. Well, Barbara Isabella. <laughs> <laughs> well, if her face looks very familiar to you, it's totally not because you've seen her 2,000 <laughs> times in this vlog. It's because <laughs> she was probably in some movie. I'm the star. I'm exactly. the star of her vlogs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not just my vlogs, bro. What will you do if, um, if, if you'll be back in Amsterdam without me? Who, what, um, what have a really good life. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Ooh, burnt. Apply cold water to burnt area. <laughs> I'm such a savage. Seriously. Do you know what just came to my mind? No. I'm such a savage. Your mom? Song, no. <laughs> yeah. Just look oh, at this. The sun is gorgeous. Look at that. Like, look at this. Look at the building that is about to fall down. Which makes it it's a vibe though. I love buildings that are about to crumble. Made oh, of porcelain. Porcelain, yeah. Oh, okay. Porcelain. And they are very, very special. They have special motifs. It's really Hungarian. Mm. Like these motifs and stuff. They are really, really, really unique. Oh my god, the sun is so pretty. You're so pretty. The birthday girl. Thank you so much. Make a wish. 